So welcome back everyone. This is the last lesson in the series, building a game from scratch. Um, what we're gonna do in this lesson is we're gonna look at how we can just tidy things up a bit. So let's play the game and when we press the space bar, I wanna lose my lives a few times here. So let's just, let's just do that. So there's a couple of problems here in that when the ghoul comes and attach me, it loses all my lives because the ghoul doesn't go back to its original position. So that's one thing we've got to fix. The second thing, the second thing we need to fix is this game over screen. The game over screen is showing all the apples from uh, the first level. And the last thing is really um, going to level two and tidying things up in level two. So let's stop the game. And let's concentrate on the first thing first. So when we press the, the play button, our ghoul is going to attack our cat, but at the moment the ghoul just continues, and so every time the cat dies, you lose all the lives. And there you go, like just like so. So I'm just going to stop the game, and let's go back to our cat and have a look at the code. So to get the ghoul to go back to its original position, what we need to do is we need to add a new element into our code here. So what we're going to do when the ghoul is touching, we've got here, if the ghoul is touching the cat, then we're gonna play the sound, we're gonna hide the cat, etc. So we also need to add something else in here, okay? We're gonna to go to events, and we're gonna broadcast a message. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna broadcast a new message, and we're gonna say, kill ghoul. Okay, let's click okay. So we're gonna broadcast that message. Now, what we want to do is when the ghoul receives that message, we want the ghoul to go back to its original position. So let's go down to the ghoul and click the ghoul. Let's go in here. And when I receive that message, we want the ghoul to go back to its original position. So go to, and then it's minus 189, minus 89 and minus 157. So let's try this now and see what happens. Okay, the ghouls, the ghouls come in and let's see what happens. There we go, the ghoul go back to the original position. Let's try it once more. There we go. Okay, so just a, a new element that we've added in there, a new piece of code, which is receiving and sending messages in order for another part of the code to work. So let's stop that now. So the next part of this then is to get rid of all of the apples and stuff. So let's just continue the game. There we go. Now we want all the apples to disappear. We want the score and the timer and the end note and the, the logo cat to disappear here. Okay, so in order to do that, let's go to the logo cat first. So let's go to an event. When the backdrop switches to level, well, the game over screen, when it switches there, we want to hide. We want to hide the cat. And we also, we want to hide the lies variable. We want to hide the timer, and we want to hide the score, okay? The other thing we want to do is we just want to set the timer to a much higher number, and if we change that to 100,000, and we change that to timer one, we change that to 100,000, now what's gonna happen is, once the game over screen comes, the timer will just be reset to 100,000, and then you won't see the times up screen. So let's try that now. So let's lose our lives. And the easy way to lose our lives is by clicking here and then just go down to one. There we go. So the cat, the timer, and the score, everything is missing. We've still got the apples. So in order to do this now, what we can do is just drag this into our code for the apples and the endpoint. So let's do that for the endpoint. And then drag it into the apples and so on and so forth for the apples. Okay, so now let's play the game again. 
and I'm just going to lose those lives. One more life to go. There we go, our game over screen. Um, the only thing we haven't got now is our game over text. So very easily, let's press the stop button. Let's go to our backdrops. Backdrops here, and let's just put some text in here. Game over. Make this nice and big and stick it right in the middle. There we go. Okay, go right, back to our scripts. So to finish off this game, what we really need to do now is complete level two. So I've got level two here. If we just go to our backdrops and click on level two, here's our level two. Uh, let's play the game so we can get to it. So if I can get to that level two, there we go. So we get into our level two. Now this is our level two. So all I wanna do now is repeat what I've done in the past. So I'm going to add some enemies in here um, and and then just change some of the code. So I'm gonna do this very quickly so we can finish the game. And then the game is complete. So let's go through finishing this game. And then we've got a completed game. Okay, so let's just play the game and see what happens now when everything is finished. So my first thing is to get past this ghost. Okay, it's level one sorted out. There's a couple of little bugs there I can see. There's a couple of little bugs I can see here. So I've got to get to the end. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the game there. It's, there's a couple of, couple of little bits that I need to fix. The lives there has gone to minus three. So we need to fix that. But basically that's the completed game. So there's a couple of little issues that I wanna get sorted out, uh, but that's the, so there we go, a completed game. So enjoy, have fun, and um, watch out for some other tutorials on Scratch that I'm gonna be developing based on other things that you could do in the classroom using Scratch. Thank you very much for taking this course. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.